Hey there! I wanted to hop on here real quick and talk about if you should have surgery to fix a diastasis. And um, my name's Olivia Cagle. I'm a prenatal, postnatal corrective exercise specialist and a diastasis restoration specialist. So what I do is I help uh, mommies to heal and strengthen and restore their cores. Um, I have a lot of um, women ask me about surgery for their diastasis if that's what they think they should do if that's the only option they have because there's a lot of doctors that will um, talk to them and tell them that that is their only option so no it isn't your only option however I don't want to um, say I don't want to take I don't want to give you the advice of a doctor but I'm gonna tell you so let's just talk about um if you did have surgery okay so even if you did have surgery to fix a diastasis um you still didn't get to the root problem so it's still important if you fix the diastasis to um go ahead and correct that alignment to get your breathing right you need to get the foundational basics the basic foundations in place to start healing it correctly so we want to learn how to function correctly um, I'm not against surgery I want you to do what you feel comfortable with what makes you feel good I just want you to know there's other options out there um, there's been a lot of women who have closed up and healed their diastasis that were six fingers wide seven fingers wide even so it is a process and it does take time I know surgery is faster um, but it is, it, it's a process and, um, well, it's a big undertaking the surgery is, um, and it does scare a lot of women. So I think that you need to go ahead and even just, just if you think that, um, surgery is your only option, I would love for you to, um, and, and you're not wanting to do the surgery, to go ahead and give some other things a try. You know, you need to work on your alignment, work on your breathing, get that done. Um, do some breathing exercises, things like that. Um, I offer a free five-day diastasis challenge, and I'll put a link in the comments below if you'd like to get your hands on that. And it does talk about the basics, the foundations of what you need to set in place. So, um, diastasis is called caused from an intra-abdominal pressure. So, if you're out of alignment, um, if breathing wrong, it can create a um, pressure in there. So, it's not necessarily caused by pregnancy. However, pregnancy can bring it on. So, if you already had um, a dysfunction in there with a, the pressure going on and you had the pregnancy, well, then it... Um, then it caused it to pop out so um, and also you may have hernias with diastasis you may have lower back issues so that's also important to try to reel in so if you have surgery um, and you have lower back pain you still want to get those inner core muscles strong and you've got four inner core muscles and those are your TVA your pelvic floor the multifidus muscles of your spine and those are the one and your diaphragm sorry and those are the ones that you, you need to learn how to start working all those together to function correctly and reduce aches and pains in your body did you know that the diaphragm is the number one muscle to help align your body so um, if you don't get that right and you're working on some other things you may come back around to the same aches and pains so if you don't um, breathe with your diaphragm and let your diaphragm and your core take the blunt force of your movements then you can have other aches and pains in your bodies like shoulders and knees things like that so it's just very important um, to get your function right okay so I hope this helps answer any of your questions so um, even if you're somebody who has had surgery then it is a good idea to um, find a program out there you don't have to do mine there's other programs out there too as well um, but I told you about the five-day diastasis challenge I also have a boot camp that's coming up and um, it's called the diastasis fix boot camp and it starts on Monday June 13th 
and I'll um, post a link under here for that and if you have um, any questions about it let me know okay so I will talk to you soon bye